Hello and welcome, I'm another Magento Dev and in this video we're going to look at how to get Gulp set up for your front end theme development and uh, once you do this I guarantee you'll never use Grunt again. They say, they say um, use Gulp once and you'll always use Gulp. It's not like catchy that is it? We're going to cover a basic theme install uh, for, for any beginners, the prerequisites of, of using Gulp within, within Magento 2, how to set the cache for front end development and also as a bit of a bonus um, getting live reload set up as, as well. So, disclaimer! thing that I don't cover in the um, tutorial is how to actually install Node, NPM globally. A yarn globally if you wanted to do it that way but you do really need to understand what gulp is how to install it uh, but if you if you know if you use gulp on other projects you you're not going to have a problem hello and welcome back so um right then let's get gulp installed um let's get gulp going so just get rid of this and I'll show you from scratch Right, and so first things first, what we need to do is if in, in the description I've popped a link uh, which takes you to a Git repo that I've put up there with a starter gulp theme. So uh, quite literally the bare bones of of any Magento, you know, custom Magento theme. Uh, the idea of it is to use it to extend Luma theme, which I would highly recommend. Um, extending Luma theme in any theme development, particularly if you're sort of, um, you know, starting starting from scratch with, with your theme, i.e., not working in a pre-bought theme with a pre-bought child or, or anything like that. So this is a child theme for Luma. Um, it will work with blank as well, uh, but I would probably advise uh, testing it out with with Luma first of all. Uh, so what does it give you? What have I got here? So. When you download it, if you download the zip, we've got a vendor folder here, which you can rename as you know anything, basically your company name, and then got a child folder here, which extends uh, Luma theme, and it's got the actual, the absolute bare bones in there of of a Magento theme, um, but it does have all of the um, package requirements for Gulp to sort of work for plug, plug and play. So there's a couple of things that we're going to need to do. First of all, we're going to have to get this installed into our sort of our dummy Magento in this instance, but get this installed into your uh, file system for your Magento. And then secondly, there's just a quick um, extension, if you haven't got it already, that you need to add to Chrome, which is the live reload extension, which you can get for free, obviously, from the uh, Chrome... Um, extension store so first of all we'll just copy this over to the front end folder here which is where all themes live in Magento uh, just a couple of key files which I need to mention for those of you who haven't installed a theme before Magento if you're coming over as a beginner to this tutorial is theme XML is extremely important you have to have it um, it contains your theme title which can be any anything that's arbitrary and then it's it's inheritance so it's a it, it, this, as I say, it's it's inheriting Magento Luma and then extending uh, Magento Luma. Uh, also, registration PHP is very important. Um, it tells Magento system that your file, your your theme exists, so you're able to then select it in the admin. Um, but this again just needs to follow the pattern of your Magento theme, what you've put in the file system. So in our case, it's Vendor Luma Child. Right in. Um, and, and thirdly, this is obviously um, not a Magento default file, but it's our Gulp configuration. So this is um, basically the, the thing that does the magic once it's all up and running. This is the thing that runs the um, runs these scripts here, runs these tasks in Gulp, they're called tasks, um, to minify the CSS, to minify the JavaScript, uh, to minify images, and then it stitches them all together and it attaches it to a, a list now for, for live reload which again I'll show you how to configure just slightly later on in this tutorial um, things configuration in this file extends to here so vendor name if you change it and, and, and theme name if, if you change it and also just note that the, the regions important there obviously I'm working in the UK most of my sites are ENGB in terms of their language and their um, 
their base base configuration so I, I keep mine set to that but obviously that can be in en us or, or any any other um valid magento language extension um start for an extension so once this is in here we can actually test it out we can test that um that gulp is running but first of all in in you've got to install gulp so the theme doesn't come with everything required to um, install gulp that's that's achieved by running npm install um, and I'll just open an integrated terminal here and I'll run npm install right so this goes away and it grabs all the dependencies that are listed in package json for everything that we need um, for this to for this to plug and play um, if you haven't got npm installed globally you'll need to do that and i'll put a link in the description for um, having for installing npm um, package manager you could do this with uh, yarn as well if you ran yarn install it would it would achieve the same thing um, so in the meantime, let's have a, a look over to our theme. So this is the theme that we're going to be um, that we're going to be editing, which is a Magento 2.4.1 with some sample data, and we're going to we're going to get this this running with um, with our with our custom theme. So just to touch on it, there's some admin config required um, for installing the installing a custom theme. Again, for the beginners, it is over in content configuration first of all here's the current theme which is Lumet and we want to add to our website so now we've installed the theme we can see it here um, Luma child obviously that's what it's called that refers to uh, da -da -da, this setting here so you will see in the admin whatever you see there uh, it's a good idea to also not only when developing um, themes but um, for, for front-end Magento but also just whilst you're um, configuring the theme and uh, and any other modules really is a, is a little tip is to disable the layout cache the block HTML and the full page cache um, and you'll find that your changes are likely to update quicker um, and without having to manually refresh the cache every time. So we'll select Luma, we'll save configuration. Okay, as you can see, and then as per the documentation, we'll also, good, so node has run, but we'll also run, all commands must be running Magento's root. So be aware that this then re-enables your cache as well every time you run setup upgrade. So, yeah, as I was saying, it's um, installed my theme into the static content here. Um, so next is to run. Um, let's run Gulp. So I'll I'll just run for what it's going to do here. It's going to grab any. Um, pre-existing CSS it's going to grab any CSS from from these um, modules here so we've got sort of um, some base folders which I like to use so I've got base which grabs you know everything from within it you know and is outputted in all I've got helpers and I've got a modules which is it tends to be where I put the majority of my CSS obviously you know if I'm doing the, a cat you know designing the category I'd have a an SCSS file just for the catalog and also for the product uh, details page and maybe for the checkout and I try and be as modular as possible to try and minimize the amount of code that's in each file what it does is it picks up and you can you can add it edit, edit and amend these as much as as much as you want to, uh, but mine are basically laid out all ready to go. So just to test it out, we will um, just make a background change to the body. Um, click 
classic right so I've saved that so what's left to do right so to get this going is we've installed node we've installed the theme on Magento and now if we just run gulp first of all it does its initial compilation which is now has now been comp compiled into style CSS which is going to get picked up in a default header block which I've added here um, and remember the cache is off so we know it's working because I changed the body to red now in order for this to work with live reload I um, brought this up earlier install this extension to Chrome it's dead simple dead simple to use um, and it's just the th th this one here so to get live reload working you simply need to first of all just run gulp watch and this is then going to watch for any changes so if I set it to blue and run it you see it ran I get a nice little notification then give this a quick refresh it's changed obviously because it's detected the change but live reload is actually running but um, you just need to make sure it is see that disappeared there um, it adds a little bit of uh, script to the bottom of your of your page to detect it um, to detect any changes so if I change, make a change there we go it's working instantly I could actually show it um, side by side to show you how instantly um, there we go so you'll be able to um, rip through your uh, theme development there with, with that the same applies with uh, JavaScript changes however just to show you um, it actually refreshes the full browser um, the full session there you go and then your JavaScript change comes through but it, it's you know it's handy it's uh, as long as you make sure that you've got the cache those three cache items switched off um, which is layout block HTML and full page and um, this is all gonna work seamlessly you're just gonna be able to fly through it okay um, great stuff I'll uh, I'll see you again sometime